Hello, this is Richard Silverstein once again of Tikkun Olam. This week, a uh, very interesting story uh, was exposed, um, and it goes back to 2011. Then someone began terrorizing the Peace Now Jerusalem office by telephoning death and bomb threats, slashing tires, and spraying graffiti on the walls. At the same time, the home of Senior Peace Now act, uh, staffer Hagit Ofran was similarly vandalized, with graffiti in her hallways and cars in her garage vandalized. The police arrested the price tagger, but when he appeared in court, the boy's father, according to Haaretz, threatened the reporters and photographers if they published anything about the story. He then secured a gag order from the court. The suspect's mother, is a police officer and the father a Shin Bet officer. This explains why the father screamed in court at the journalist, do you know who I am? And warned them they'd end up in jail if they violated his son's privacy. It's unprecedented to protect the identity of a criminal because his parents are security officials. This represents yet another creeping toward the triumph of the national security state in which virtually anything can become secret because it might embarrass the security services. Though the normal inclination of the police in this case would be to cover it up, the attacks were so public and so egregious that the police simply couldn't make it go away. They released a man, the man under house arrest, but as soon as he got home, he fired up his computer and began sending email blast death threats to every Peace Now activist he knew. What's even more astonishing is that he sent these emails in his own name using his own personal email address, which allowed every recipient to identify him. Once he reoffended, it seems everyone who, everyone who knew his name lost patience, and a number of victims exposed him. He's Dor Oved, age 22, and lives in Mivasera Tzion. Here is the email death threat he sent to a Peace Now activist written in atrocious Hebrew, which I will read exactly as he wrote it. Ani yehorog otcha hasof krav. And in English, that's, I will kill you, the end is near. The suspect, who allegedly confessed to the bomb threats and attacks while in custody, was naturally rearrested for his new offenses. Now, we go ahead 18 months. Only yesterday, two Israeli newspapers published Dorovid's name for the first time. This time, he was arrested, they were announcing in the newspaper that he was arrested for vandalizing cars and Palestinian property near the settlement of Shiloh. Though I don't know why the gag order was lifted, it's possible a judge grew weary of hiding the identity of someone who refused to accept the protection of the judicial system by repeatedly reoffending. Some may say the exposure of Dora Oved is a mark of the ultimate triumph of the Israeli free press. I don't see it that way that it took 18 months to tell Israelis that this piece of direct was a serial price tagger who terrorized both Jews and Palestinians alike is a busha v'cherba. A final word of thanks to everyone in Israel and other places who contributed to the research that connected all the dots of this story. Between peace, net, peace activists in Israel and Twitter and Facebook friends and followers from Israel to Chicago, I could never have put this story together without you. It's a tribute to our interconnectedness via social networking that this happened. Consider yourself good citizens of the world, making it a better place, raising hell, comforting the afflicted, and afflicting the comfortable. Thanks again. Richard Silverstein, Tikkun Olam. Goodbye.